Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Exotic Roots here. I make natural hair and lifestyle videos. If it's your first time here, do not forget to subscribe down below and also follow me on Instagram at Exotic Roots. On today's video, you're going to be dip conditioning with me and I will also be sharing my tips for the winter. So how can you achieve your best natural hair during the winter time when it's cold outside, depending on where you live. So if that's something that interests you, keep on Watch it. I'm gonna take this towel out. Um, I don't usually dry my hair before I dip condition. I usually do that right after the shower. However, for the sake of the video, I needed to be on camera, so I had to put some clothes on. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to split my hair in sections. My hair is feeling super dry right now because I used a clarifying shampoo. This is the product that I'm going to use. It's the Carmel Rose Penetrating Deep Treatment. It's my top two dip conditioner. I love this very much. Um, so we're gonna start dip conditioning and then I will share my, um, my tip. So my first tip would be to dip condition. How often you do it, it's up to you. I would say once a week or once every two weeks. It's really up to you, but I would say at least every two weeks. And whenever you're dip conditioning, make sure that all of your hair is coated with the products to give every single strand the nourishment. And uh, if you're about to dip condition your hair, you do not need to use a regular conditioner prior. You can literally just shampoo and then apply your dip conditioner. So while I'm applying the dip conditioner, I make sure that I finger detangle. This will help me when I'm under the shower and trying to detangle with a detangling tool. So then that will prevent breakage while detangling. One last step that I wanted to give when it comes to dip conditioning, you can use a little bit of heat when dip conditioning. So you could put, um, sit under a steamer or put a plastic cap and then leave it for about 30 minutes because your body heat will warm up the dip conditioner a little bit more, which will make it easier to penetrate your hair strands. My second tip would be to do low manipulation hairstyles. Your hair is already going through a lot, um, switching seasons and going out in the cold. So um, the less you can do to it, the less you should. Um, usually during the winter time, I do a lot of twists or braids or I do two fringe braid or two fringe twist. It really depends, but I would say keep it simple to a point that you don't need to manipulate your hair every day during the winter time because your hair is already going through a lot. The mini twist or mini braid that I usually do on my hair are considered protective hairstyles. You don't need to add extensions for the hairstyle to be considered a protective hairstyle. So if you're going to add extensions, make sure that they don't have a lot of tension on your edges. That is very important because you'll be putting on bonnets or you'll be putting on um, caps and this is very harsh on your edges. So if your braids are already too tight, well your edges might not survive the winter season. I'm actually going to get a protective style next week and I can't wait. I'll definitely show you guys what I get, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. On the topic of protective styles, I would definitely suggest that you do not go over six weeks with your protective styles because your scalp and hair needs to be cleansed. The next step would be to use a heavier styling products. So when it comes to your gels or to your styling creams, to your leave-ins, use something heavier. If you're using a spray leave-in conditioner, switch to a creamier one, um, one that comes in a bottle or one that has a little bit more weight to it. Um, if you're using a gel that is very runny, I would definitely suggest that you use something thicker because the runny gels are not gonna give you the moisture that you need for this season. And then my next step would be to get your ends trimmed. I usually recommend that you trim your ends at least once every season. So with the new season coming up, make sure that you trim your ends because when you're holding on to dead ends to split ends it will make styling detangling way harder than it needs to be so make sure that you make an appointment to get your ends trimmed or you can do it yourself however i always recommend that you go to a professional for this 
and then my next step I know a lot of people say stay away from heat I think it's actually the best season to straighten your hair because you're not sweating as much compared to the summertime and it's not as humid outside so um, usually I straighten my hair during the fall season or the winter season I haven't done it this year actually um, but it's just because I'm staying home I have nowhere to go so there's no need for me to straighten my hair I will blow dry my hair next week because um, I'm getting my hair braided and um, you need to come with your hair um, previously blow dried I have a full video how I straighten my hair so I'll link it above and every time that you're using heat it could be a blow dryer or a flat iron make sure that you're using a heat protectant that is very key if you don't want to experience any heat damage for the winter time you can definitely keep doing wash and goes however I do not um, do them as often as I do in the summer just because it takes forever to dry if you don't have a blow dryer um, so usually I would opt for um, twist outs or braid outs because I can do the braids or twists leave them on for about three days and then take them out and there you go I have a twist out or a braid out so I like that better than wash and goes but wash and goes are my favorite thing to do so I'm still gonna do them <laughs> And the very last step is something that I actually don't really do because I do not cover my head during the winter time. I just don't. Um, I know some people still wear bonnets or toques or other caps. I don't do that during the winter time. Um, so if you are covering your head, make sure that it's satin lined or you're using a scarf under it. Um, to make sure that you protect your hair because natural hair is very fragile um, so if you have this thick fabric rubbing on your hair during the winter time it will definitely cause more breakage but for me I let my hair loose I do not cover it so it doesn't apply to me however it might apply to you so yeah that's pretty much it for the tips make sure that you're drinking your water you're eating your greens um, I'm still working on that. I'm good with drinking water. It's just that eating greens That's another story, but I'm way I'm way better now. So I hope you are as well Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and dip condition this section as you can see I cannot multitask <laughs> Usually it doesn't take me as long, but I'm talking to you guys and I'm also dip conditioning so it's taking me longer than usual. After dip conditioning I will be doing a wash and go and filming that and answering all of your questions for wash and goes so make sure that you watch this video it will be coming next week bye guys <laughs>